Recently, I've been trying to make mornings my happy place, whether it meant dancing to my favorite song like a crazy human or making my favorite breakfast. It's also been quite sunny in Amsterdam lately, and I've been soaking up the sun for the past week, and waking up to a clear blue sky is definitely one of the best feelings ever. This morning, I had mini pancakes with strawberries. Definitely not a strawberry season, but it makes me happy. I feel like strawberries carry the essence of summer, and that is why it's my favorite fruit. I've been re-watching quite a few comfort shows recently. They make me feel at home and take my mind off of everything. And sometimes you do definitely need to recharge if you have the privilege for it. So today is kind of a long day. I have a media theory lecture from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m and I then have a seminar from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. So there are two classes and for a lecture I'm just gonna join the online because there's this awkward two hour gap in between our classes and I wouldn't know what to do. So that's why I'm gonna do it online. And then we have a lot of editing to do for Fiverr and a lot of editing to do for myself. And obviously there's a lot to study. The second semester has been much tougher than the first one which is why finding balance has been a bit more tricky with creating videos and freelancing and doing uni work and with the stress of the war going on in Ukraine with Russia it's been hard to see the brighter side and I'm going to leave useful links regarding the war and how you can help so please make sure to check out the description box down below If I'm not going to the in-person lecture, I prefer to watch the live stream instead of the recorded version after because I feel like if it's live, I'm actually going to be listening and I'm actually going to be taking notes instead of when it's recorded and I can pause whenever I want to and I'm never going to get through it. Um, the two hours are going to be like four hours at the end, so I'm watching the live stream right now. Uh, two films, actually it's one film. The film is Terminal Station by Italian neorealist director Vittorio De Sica, which the film, when it traveled to the States, was recut by... Okay, so the day I'm filming this is actually March 8th, so happy belated International Women's Day. And fun fact, every holiday my dad gets me and my sister a Ferrero Russia chocolate. Um, and obviously this is the first year that I'm not home during the holiday, so I got myself from my dad um, a huge Ferrero Russia chocolate because this was the only one they had and they didn't have the normal looking ones. So this is what we went for and um, I'm excited. I feel like this is kind of a way to just bring the holiday to me, you know, so um, yeah, I just love traditions. <laughs> When it comes to music, I am extremely attached to my guitar, which is why I take at least 30 minutes a day to play it. Playing guitar just brings me so much joy, it allows me to detach from everything going on, so it's just a boost of serotonin. Okay, so whenever it's time for lunch, I usually go for something that's quick and easy because during the day there isn't much time between going to school and doing the work. So I went with Caesar salad today because that was the quickest thing I could do and I had all the ingredients at home. Stripped away, what's there to do? 
So I'm all ready for our seminar and I'm honestly very excited to go out because today's a sunny day in Amsterdam and sunny days in Amsterdam are like a treasure. You have to cherish them and take full advantage of them. <laughs> Quick thank you to Buy Some Bling for sponsoring today's video. Buy Some Bling is a small business based in Amsterdam where you can purchase jewelry and join sustainable fashion. Make sure to check out Buy Some Bling on Instagram and give them a follow. I always try to bring a snack to class because the class lasts for three hours, which is quite a lot, and it's during lunchtime. So today I'm just making myself a sandwich. Okay, so we're at campus. Explain yes. why we're in this not so aesthetically pleasing campus. So the University of Amsterdam has multiple campuses and we, for our humanities program, are in the city center campus. It's just like buildings they've purchased and it's like scattered throughout. So like this is what we're working with. Okay, we're on the fourth floor. Are. Yeah, here we are on the fourth mm -hmm. floor for class. They have been whispering because there's students around. Yeah, it's they're really having awkward. classes, and our classes have like transparent glass doors. And all the so, classrooms have just like windows for walls. It's really yeah. stressful because you'll just see kids looking at you, including us, <laughs> including the teachers. <laughs> the perks of filming in a school building. found somebody I say you don't cross my mind and she doesn't know that your favorite place is so after the two hour class was over we just took the tram to go home I take the long way home avoid what I can let go Going back home, I just had to spend some time with my best neighbor friend, Shyla, because at this point, it has become a routine and I really needed to catch up on some stuff. Well, I'm, I'm doing a day in the life video, but I'm, I'm not sure. I think it's either going to be in the short film, because I'm talking about... Are you gonna, when are you going to put the pancake one? I'm very curious. You see, I don't know. I don't know what I should do with it. Okay, so being a freelancer, you obviously have to chat with the clients a lot and I honestly I try to do this just as soon as they message me which obviously is not always possible because sometimes because of time zones someone will message at like 2 a.m um and I'll only reply at like 8 a.m but um I have a few things to handle I just want the OG, it's always been it for me Yeah, you saw me when nobody would And he loved me good After editing the video, I went back to writing my essay because the deadline was soon and it was just a task I really needed to get out of the way Okay. 
For dinner, I went a bit more fancy. I had bulgur, which is a Middle Eastern dish, I presume. And um, I had a pastry that had spinach and salmon in it, and I just loved it. It was incredible. Yeah, Zach, what are you doing? <laughs> Point eleven K, right? One point one two K. Okay. 